how to manage resistant employees. We'll cover what resistance means and what it means in the workplace. Using a read on resistance for hiring, how to hire people and how to probe into that during the hiring process. And to use people's resistance scores for training and coaching. Resistance is related to people's attitudes towards rule following, following procedures and being compliant, and also being open to training and coaching. People who are highly resistant or in the higher risk range of resistance often disregard rules and processes. They question them, they try to avoid them when they can, and they sometimes push back and uh, will question them openly, other times just not follow them. People who are lower risk or average risk on resistance are more open to following rules, more diligent when they're following rules and processes. And when they receive coaching and training, they're less defensive and uh, change their behaviors based on feedback. In a recent study we did, we found that employees that were in the higher risk range on resistance had incident rates that were 133% higher than people who had resistance scores in the low or average risk range. So the business impact is huge. There's definitely a correlation between uh, people's resistance scores and incident rates, meaning that they're at much higher risk of injuring themselves or having caused an, an injury to a team member if they're high on resistance. If you're using our reports for hiring purposes, we provide interview questions to probe into the resistance area. If someone is higher risk on resistance, we'd want to get a read on how they uh, respond to rules in the workplace. And one of the ways we can do this is to ask for work examples of when they were required to follow rules and processes that they thought were unnecessary. For example, a candidate might say that they just disregarded and ignored rules that they didn't think were right. Others might say that they brought it up to uh, their manager or, or foreman or supervisor and provided constructive criticism, which would be a better answer. We also provide questions around whether people think that rules are flexible and in what circumstances it would be justified to bend rules to get things done. This gives us uh, more information on how they'd actually behave on the job by looking at how they've handled the situation in the past. For using our reports for existing employees or for new hires, we provide training and coaching tips tailored to how people score in the resistance area. The things that are most important for employees that are in the higher risk range of resistance is to monitor their compliance to rules and regulations, especially in their first few months of employment. They tend to cut corners when they can and when they're not being watched may not follow rules and procedures. It's best to correct that behavior immediately if they break rules or if they don't follow procedures, making sure that they don't slip back into bad habits. The other thing that might be important for a higher risk person on resistance would be to explain the reasons behind rules and procedures. They often question things a lot more and providing a logical reason of why a rule or process is in place will help them accept that and follow that in the future. So as a manager, tailoring your style a little bit to a person's resistance score can help. People who are higher risk and resistance can be uh, people who provide very good ideas and can provide good constructive criticism. Often we find people in management or foreman roles have higher resistance scores. For more information on the safety quotient, visit talentclick.com sq.